Well, after nearly three decades of being El Paso's district attorney, we are getting a better picture of who could replace Jaime Esparza. The votes have started to trickle in in tonight's runoff elections. We actually have most of the results, and so far, unofficial results show, show a race that is very, very close for El Paso District Attorney. Ivan Rosales, attorney, defense attorney, pulling ahead with 52% of the vote. But look at that. It is very, very close. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSM is your local election headquarters, and there are a number of local and state elections that will be affecting you. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields shows us what's to come in the race for district attorney. The unofficial results are still coming in, but the candidate with the most votes will be El Paso County's next district attorney, a seat that's been filled for 28 years. KTSM speaking with both candidates tonight. They tell me although the pandemic delayed the runoff election, more voters actually turned out for this runoff. Assistant District Attorney James Montoya says if he wins, he would change how misdemeanor marijuana cases are handled. Meanwhile, Rosales says she wants to develop a mental health unit and crack down on animal cruelty cases. Both candidates touching on how they will take over the August 3rd shooting trial, which is the biggest criminal case in El Paso's history. That case facing both federal and state trials. And at some point, somebody's got to go first. And I think that's the big question. Who's going to have their trial first? Um, you know, I, my position has always been, I, I believe that the state should go first. Uh, I think he belongs on Texas death row. We all have to work together for the best results of the community. Um, and until I've had an opportunity to review medical reports and, you know, see how it could or could not affect, um, asking or requesting the death penalty. I mean, I really can't make that judgment right now. The COVID-19 pandemic not only delayed this runoff election, but changed how people voted. Montoya telling KTSM it's still anyone's race due to the large amount of mail-in ballots, which still need to be counted. Now, not all mail-in ballots were included in tonight's results. The KTSM will continue updating those unofficial results as they come in on our website, KTSM.com. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie.